Hello, welcome to DeskTime. This video will guide you through the main features of DeskTime, including tracking time, creating reports, and changing settings. To begin with, DeskTime itself is an application. To track any time, you'll need to install it on your computer and log into your account. Once online, you'll see a green DeskTime icon on your taskbar here. You can right-click on the icon to turn on private time, which will temporarily stop all tracking. Don't forget to turn it off when you resume work. You can enable automatic reminders to take breaks here, as well as log out or quit the application here. You can also access the project time tracker from here, but I will tell you more about it when we reach the project section. Right now, let's click on the icon to reach your desk time page. This is my desk time page. Here you can see when you arrived at work as well as your total time since you began working. Desk time time shows how much time you have spent at your computer, whereas productive time shows how much of that time has been spent on productive applications. Express this percentage here. Effectiveness compares your productive time to your minimum working hours. Express this percentage here. Below, you'll find the productivity bar. Here you can see a detailed breakdown of how your time has been spent today divided into 5 minute segments. Hovering your mouse over any bar will show you all of the applications used during that time. Green bars represent productive applications, the gray bars are neutral applications, and orange ones are productive applications. Here you can also log any offline time by clicking on the idle period, entering details about the period and pressing save. Slightly below, you'll also find the projects bar. Here you can see the time spent on projects today using our project timer. I will tell you more about it when we reach the project section. You can also log in work on projects manually from here by clicking on any of the idle fields under track time. Next you'll find all of the applications that you have used today divided into productive, neutral and unproductive sections. Here you can also see what documents or URLs have been visited in that application including how much time has been spent on each of them. After this you can find a categories section. Here you can see what kind of applications you have used today, office apps, emails, social media, and others. At the very bottom of the page, you can see all of the time you have spent on projects today, as well as your screenshots, if the feature is enabled. I will show you how to do that towards the end of the guide. Next is one of the most important time tracking tools, the Projects section. With this feature, you can track your time to specific projects and tasks, be they clients, assignments, or everyday routines. You can see all the projects created in your account here. To create a project, use the new project button. Now you can open your created project and edit details. Or add tasks to it here. To track your time to your project, you can use the DeskTime Project Tracker, found when right-clicking on the DeskTime app icon on your taskbar and choosing the option Create a Project or Search for a Project. This will open the tracker where you can search for your new project and task and click on Start to begin tracking your time. Now all your work will be logged under Task until you stop the timer. You can also log time for projects manually by editing the project bar of your My Desk Time page as I showed you earlier. With Desk Time Invoicing, you can create professional-looking invoices to bill clients for your tracked hours, as well as keep track of the invoice statuses and payments. To begin, click on the Create Invoice option, which will take you to a new window. Start with assigning the invoice a number or a name, as well as due dates. Then enter details about the company name and any address details. Then, fill out the same for your client. If you have saved any contacts, you can choose to use contact details here. Lastly, you can also add your company logo here. Now you can add billable positions to your invoice. Enter a name for the position and optionally a description to it. Add the quantity and price per unit here. To add more positions, click on the option here. 
You can also add track time from a project by using this option. Select which employees to take this time from, select dates to gather data from, and choose the project and tasks that you need. Lastly, choose to include all track time or only time spent on productive applications. When you click on Save, this time will add track hours from your selected dates and project to your invoice, including hourly rates. Once all the positions are ready, you can appoint discount or tax rates in these fields. Lastly, enter any relevant comments in this field. Now you can save your invoice. From here you can download or print your invoice or send it to your client with this option. Back in the invoice list, you can edit the status of your new invoice and check when your client has viewed the sent email. In the reports section, you can take a closer look at your track time. In the overview, you can see general information about your productivity and used applications. At the top, you can change the time period to a week or a month and navigate using these arrows. The compare by time section allows you to compare your results in different time periods. In the extra hours section, you can see how much time you have spent coming in early and staying late at work. The two projects sections will allow you to see how much time has been spent on project in the selected time period. Also allowing you to check productivity and apps used while tracking a specific project. The Exports section allows you to take data gathered by DeskTime and export it into Excel files. Here you can get information about your attendance in the team members export web pages and documents worked on in the Windows title export, and get time spent on tasks in the project's team members export, among many others. To create an export, click on Generate button on any of the exports. This will open a window here, where you will need to specify details for the export. Select a period for your export using these buttons, or use the calendar to select specific time period. You do not need to select the user here, as you will already be selected. Lastly, choose how to group the data and what format to export the file in. Now you can create the export. It will be generated in a short while, ready to be downloaded and viewed on your computer. Lastly, in the settings you can edit how Destin works for your account. In the profile section you can change your profile picture, email address, and password. The account section allows you to edit the main settings of tracking. You can specify when work starts and ends in these fields, as well as the minimum working hours each day here. Using these icons you can set which days are working days, similarly setting up which days should Destine track any time for you here. The tracking section allows you to disable some tracking functions and appoint the default application productivity for new apps. If you wish to change your account to a team account and add colleagues or employees to your account, use the button over here to transform your account to a company one. In the Apps Productivity section, you can change your productivity level of applications. To do so, select which apps you want to change, assign a new level to them, and click on Save. In the Categories section, you can assign a category to all of the tracked apps in your account. You can use predetermined categories or create your own using this button. In the Integration section, you can integrate your Google or Outlook calendars into your profile, or add one of the available project management apps to your account, to import projects from them into DeskTime and use the Project Time Tracker with them. In the IP restrictions page, you can set up IP addresses that DeskTime will track time from. If you only work in the office and take your computer home, an IP restriction will ensure that only time in the office will be tracked. Lastly, in the billing section, you can set up a subscription with DeskTime. You can change your user amount in the billing period by clicking Add More button here and editing the details in the window. The option here will allow you to change to a different billing plan. Thank you for watching. 
If you have any questions, you can always write to us at support at Happy tracking!